Hey everybody, I wanted to announce and talk to you about my brand new YouTube channel. I'm hoping that you can go check it out. Uh, it's just called Guilty of Treason. Your, the other channel that I had built before is called uh, Guilty of Treason at Eastside Tree Works. And I'm sort of, uh, I'm walking away from that channel now. So if you want to follow me, check out the other channel. Um, I probably won't get into too much detail. I don't want to bore you to death. But, you know, I figure since I'm asking you to subscribe to the new channel, maybe I'll just kind of give you my story real quick. And I'll, I'll try to be expeditious and I don't want to waste a bunch of your time. But, um, you know, I'm going to be... <laughs> Well, let's just go back to the beginning. I, I've i worked at Eastside Tree Works since I was 18 years old, since my senior year in high school. My wife, um, her dad at the time was, um, what she was my girlfriend at the time, and her dad was a salesman at Eastside Tree Works, and I got a job going door to door, knocking, trying to set appointments for him to come and try to sell tree work. And then if the job sold, I'd get a commission. I made basically no money doing this. I was super bad at it, and my supervisor was gonna fire me, and. You know, I said, well, hey, can I, you know, try Dragon Brush maybe? And so I got put on the crew, and the rest is sort of history. I immediately fell in love with tree work. I immediately fell in love with the guys with whom I was working. I felt like I was part of a team, and I was just sucked in, and I just loved it. And, you know, and the, the years went on. I quickly, you know, I became a climber, then I became a foreman. Eventually, I became the superintendent, and for years, everything was really awesome. About three years ago, my wife suggested that I check out Instagram, you know, and so I got on Instagram and I couldn't believe it. There was like a whole community of tree guys, people that loved tree work as much as I did on here. And I just jumped right in. I was so excited to, you know, like network and meet all these people and see the way people were doing things. And yeah, I was just having a blast doing Instagram. Around this same time, um, somebody had, some production company had contacted Eastside Tree Works about making like a TV show or something. And so that was, you know, potentially gonna happen. I don't, I don't know what happened with the negotiations with that, but it kind of fell through. But at the time we had this idea, like let's give all the crews GoPros. We'll, you know, give a bunch of the guys GoPros, everybody go out, film your job, give, fill up the SD card, give it to the office guy and he'll cobble like episodes together. In retrospect, this is like the world's worst video production <laughs> tactic, but we didn't, we didn't know any better. But anyways, they, they bought, they, I don't know, like, I think it was like six of us. They bought us GoPros and I was the only person that even did it. I, I filled up the GoPro once or twice, turned over my footage. It was clear that Nobody else was filming and this wasn't, this was going nowhere. So all the GoPros didn't really get used, but I, I started using mine to post to Instagram and quickly found that I was having a lot of fun doing that. And so I was posting to Instagram for a while and then I thought, hey, maybe I'll try my lot at YouTube. So, you know, about two and a half years ago, I started up a YouTube channel and I started making videos and I did that for, you know, uh, a while and I ended up super, I just really enjoyed making YouTube videos now. And now I wanted to start editing. I already had a computer because I was a superintendent. I was doing employee evaluations and stuff. But I asked my boss, hey, can I get a MacBook instead of a Pixel book so I can, you know, edit videos on it? And so they're like, yeah, they were really supportive. It got me a better computer. I started editing my videos. And then one day I was like, it'd be cool to have like two GoPros. So one of the other guys, you know, all the GoPros are just sitting in the trucks. And I was like, hey, can I use your GoPro? And now I had two GoPros and kept going down this road. You know, eventually I was like, oh, yeah. I noticed they had a drone sitting there in the office nobody's using. I was like, hey, can I use that drone? Like, oh, sure. You know, everything was great. And about a year and a half ago, I had this video like totally take off the world's best tree felling tutorial. And out of nowhere, I was really shocked. Like the channel just got huge all of a sudden, like tons of people were subscribing and watching and I just couldn't believe it. And after that, my videos were getting like a lot of views and my videos were getting a little more elaborate with like the editing and stuff as time went on. And I just fell in love with making these YouTube videos. I was, I just loved it. And, and I started making money on YouTube and I, and I realized like, I think I might be able to do this professionally. I think I might be able to like make a living doing this. So everything was going well. Everybody was supportive of what I was doing. I was like, you know, recruiting guys online and stuff. They were coming to work with us. Everything was great. And then one day earlier, you know, and everything was going well, except for the fact that I was spending all of my free time editing, all of it, you know, weekends, evenings, like all my time, like, like, 
like no way for a family man to act, right? So I was like, something's gotta give. And so earlier this year, I approached my boss, the owner of the company and said, you know, I wanna do YouTube for a living. This is what I wanna do. And I, I'm hoping what I'd like to do is I'd like to film Eastside Tree Works, but I'll be like the little fish that like clings on the side of the shark. You guys like do your thing. I'm just gonna like film you. And you don't even have to pay me. I think I can get paid from like Google and stuff. And I thought that was a great idea, but they didn't want to go for it. They thought that I'd be sort of uh, like, you know, wasting too much time on the job site and stuff, which I was surprised at because I was like, I made all these videos and we still got our production numbers done. We still got over, kept overtime hours low. You know, I really figured out how to just film what I was already doing anyways without taking much extra time. But they thought, no, it's going to take up too much time. You're not going to do that. So I was like, well, that's, you know, that sucks, but I'm going to just take my YouTube channel, I'm just gonna probably go film other people then and try to make it work that way. And that's when everything sort of thinks, well, what happened was the owner ended up getting a digital media attorney and they got back to me and what it, it turned out that, you know, um, they bought all the cameras and they bought the computer I was editing on and I filmed their job sites and I was on the clock when I filmed their job sites because I was doing my normal like tree climbing duties and stuff, you know, so it turned out that, you know, everything I'd filmed was Eastside Tree Works intellectual property up until, and I talked to two different attorneys and it, it became pretty clear to me like that, that was probably the case. Like I didn't really have much of a, <laughs> that, that, it was their intellectual property, but, um, you know, <laughs> and so yeah, it turned out I spent like two years building this channel for Eastside Tree Works when I thought I was like building my own YouTube channel. And what happened was I basically, the owner gave me two options. Either I can turn the channel over to, to them and they're gonna invest a lot of, you know, resources into the channel. We're gonna up production a bunch. We're gonna hire camera guys. We're gonna invest into it. Turn the channel over. You can be an employee here, but it's gonna be our channel. You're gonna work for us. And, you know, but, but the channel will go on and we'll invest into it or, you know, or delete all the videos that I had ever made, but with Eastside Tree Work content. And it was, that was all of my videos because I had edited on the computer. And like I said, the cameras were there. So it was either delete all of my videos, leave, start from scratch, have no income, no money, no YouTube videos or nothing. And, or, or or stay there and make like a really um try to make like a really professional looking show you know and that was a really that was really hard for me um i spent like like all my free time making that channel and you know it was hard that i was in this predicament but and i was upset but it was also hard the idea of me you know, potentially deleting all of the videos that I've made, you know, people really like those videos. I think, you know, they've been viewed like 20 something million times. I mean, uh, there are a lot of subscribers, like over 220,000 subscribers. So the idea, and people have like told me they're like really, they've really like helped people and stuff and people have found them really meaningful and entertaining. So the thought of deleting all my videos was just almost, it was just like this terrible thought. And so, you know, I said, okay. And I turned over the channel and that's when it became guilty of treason at Eastside Tree Works instead of just guilty of treason. And so, yeah, we went down the road. They hired two professional videographers. They spent a bunch of, they bought a bunch of really nice camera gear, really nice microphones. They bought this really nice Mercedes Benz Sprinter van for like a camera van. And we had like a full on production crew and we started having like 10 cameras rolling and it was getting really crazy. And, um, we went on and on for a few months and I just kept slipping a little further and further into depression, man. I just, I was just so, you know, people ask like, hey, how's work going? I'd say, yeah, you know, it's, it's going good, man. Yeah, it's, it's good. But really, I was just so unhappy that this project that I had made that I thought was like this art project, it felt like I was becoming more and more just like, was performance artist, you know, and on paper it was like a really good gig. I only had to come in to film and I was still getting paid and I had all these guys editing and filming for me and uh, it was actually a super easy gig. 
but I was so unhappy, you know, and um, because it just felt like this isn't the art project that I set out to make, you know, and I just, I just felt like a phony, you know, and, but I kept saying, telling myself, no, this isn't so bad, no, that, this is, this is cool, look, that's a really good camera angle, it's a really nice shot, look at the quality of, you know, that shot there, and kept going for a few months, and, um, and then, uh, and then our crane tipped over, and I saw the pictures first, you know, I was like, oh my God, is everybody okay? You know, those are my friends out there. And I found out everybody was okay. And my next thought was, you know, they might want to just like nuke this channel. I don't know if, if like that's a famous crane. I don't think this is really great for the company having all that exposure, you know, this might, they might want to just nuke the channel, you know? And we were in the process of emailing this company about wrapping this, that big Mercedes Benz van. They're going to put the logo on the side, Guilty of Trees, not Eastside Tree Works. Basically like my face on this huge billboard driving down the road. And uh, we were having a group thread email and the office guy was like, replied to the email. He's like, yeah, let's go ahead and get the van wrapped. So then I realized, yeah, they want to keep going forward. They want to keep making YouTube videos. And I was immediately like bummed out. Like, dang it. Um, we're going to keep making YouTube videos. And it was almost like in that moment, it was almost like God was just talking to me like, Jake, you're bummed out that you're keeping your job. Like, if ever you needed a sign that you're on the wrong path in life, this is probably it, you know? And I realized, like, I, I've got to get out of here. I've got to get out of this situation. I'm, like, all sad that I'm keeping my job. It's just not getting any better. You know, the camera quality, the video production, everything looks like it's getting better. And I'm just like, totally feel like I don't even recognize this art project anymore. It's not even what, uh, like, I just felt like a phony, man. It was just, it was just this horrible feeling. And I said, you know what, I'm just, I'm done. So I walked away and I don't know what they're going to do with that channel. I don't know if they're going to keep making videos. I quit pretty abruptly. I don't know if they're gonna change the name to just Eastside Tree Works or if they're gonna keep the name or if they're gonna, I don't know what they're gonna do with that channel, but I'm starting a new channel and I'm just starting over from scratch, which is really uh, hard in some ways because it's like I had over 200,000 subscribers on that channel and like some videos that people really liked and that I really liked, but I'm gonna start over and you know, it, it kind of sucks. But on the other hand, a fresh start also feels kind of nice, you know? better that uh, I just get out of that situation and just start over, start from scratch. And I really think that, you know, it might be a little, s I think, honestly, I think that, I think that I can probably make like some really cool show, honestly. Um, it might be kind of hard at first because I got to start from scratch, but like my idea is, <laughs> I said I'd do this quickly. <laughs> anyway, my idea for a show, like, you know, I have this idea where I like travel around, you know, and like work different places like in the country and maybe even the world like, you know, what's the difference between doing tree work in Northern California versus Oregon versus Vermont versus Texas and Florida and then maybe the world, you know, like doing tree work in Australia and New Zealand and the UK and stuff. So I've got this idea like of, you know, traveling around and trying to film people who have interesting jobs who are, you know, in tree work, like maybe it'd be cool to like video like how his arborist robe made maybe somebody let me tour a factory or something and like show that how his chainsaw chain made you know maybe film people who work in like mills or log truck drivers you know fallers and anyways i'm getting ahead of myself i'm just kind of like daydreaming here but i want to make a show about the tree industry like as a whole and try to like kind of tie it all together that's my dream that's what i'm going to try to do um so i think ah uh, you know Lord willing, I think it, it might work. So you, you maybe if you're interested in uh, being part of that project, maybe send me an email. At, uh, it's like a helicopter over my house. Coming for me. <laughs> Anyways, if you're interested, maybe you want to like be part of the project, maybe shoot me an email. I, I made a new email account. It's called guilty of treason one at, uh, at gmail.com. It'd be super fun, man, to just like travel around and show the different ways that tree work is done because it's so different, like where you are regionally. And there's so many people with these amazing skills that, you know, you might not know about. So anyways, I'm just, I'm just rambling now.
So anyways, all this is to say, please <laughs> look, uh, if you're watching this on Instagram, I'll put the link um, in my bio and then you can just click that and find the YouTube channel. It won't even show up if you search, if you search Guilty of Treason on YouTube. It's just gonna show you the other, you know, Eastside Tree Works channel. But click the link in my description and that'll take you there. And then please subscribe, even if you don't have a YouTube account or whatever, it's like, you just like sign in with your email and just click subscribe and hit the notification bell. And that'd be super helpful. Maybe I can get a few followers, you know, a few subscribers, you know, so I can sort of, you know, get things going again because it, it might be kind of rough. But, you know, that's uh, the situation I'm in and I just keep on talking, don't I? So, yeah, really, really, um, it was a really tough situation for me walking away from that channel. That really kind of took a lot out of me. It took me a long time to sort of muster up the courage to do that. I just, um, you know, I, I should have done it months ago, but I was just scared. I was just scared of, uh, I was just scared of starting over and, you know, upsetting people and, you know, upsetting my audience or my boss or whatever, but you know, it's just better. I just start over. And so here I am. Welcome to the new channel. Isn't this, <laughs> this nice, nice and cozy. So, yeah, just everybody that, if you made it this far, thanks for watching. Thanks for listening to my long-winded story. I really appreciate it. I really appreciate just how super nice it, people are, like, really nice to me online. And I'm really grateful of that because I know not everybody can say that. So thank you so much. I'm going to try my absolute best to, you know, try to make, you know, I respect your time and I want you to really like my videos. So I'm going to try my hardest to make them interesting and to just you know, show you some stuff that maybe you haven't seen before, um, but it, it might be kind of slow going, so just bear with me here. So anyways, I'm done talking now, and thanks again. Okay, one more thing, and then I promise I'm done talking. Maybe if you're watching this on YouTube or Instagram or whatever, if you could, if you know somebody that has in the past enjoyed my videos, maybe you could just share this with them and let them, let them also know, like, you know, try to try to let people know that I'm going to be making videos on the different channel now, just forward this video to them. They'd be like, I'd be so super grateful. So anyways, yeah, I'll see you later. All right, one more, one more thing. Uh, I just wanted to say too, like this video was not meant to be like an East Side Tree Works bashing video. I hope that people don't take it that way. That company was really, really good to me for a lot of years. It helped me get to where I am today, helped me support my family. I wish those guys the best moving forward. Um, I don't want you to think that um, I'm trying to slander them at all. I just felt sort of obligated to share my story considering that I'm asking of you that you follow me on this different channel now. So that was the intent of this video. It was not to try to hurt or harm or slander anybody. And now I'm really done talking. So, all right, bye.